tea. Like it, it's a tea. It's a tea cocktail. It's a tea cocktail. Tea cocktail. Cocktail. Okay, I'm trying to make up words. It's not working. I thought biscuits had to rise. They do have to rise. You just stick them in a warm place, like your vent hood, or on top of your fridge, or in between your breasts. That's how I incubate eggs when I forgot to leave them out at room temperature. I usually just stick them in my bra. And then I just walk around stream and hope I don't crush them. Arrowroot is a great thickener. Yes, it is. Uh, a bit expensive, but you use less. So balanced cornstarch is your other choice. Yeah, Aronia, I like the suggestions. I can't use um, I can't use too much cornstarch because it's not Kathy friendly. But I do believe I can use arrow. Maybe I usually use um, xanthan gum. And again, you only need like this, like a fucking pinch. But if my, if my shit won't get thick, then I'll add some xanthan gum. But usually if you go low and slow, you can thicken a gravy just by going low and slow. You need patience though. Not everybody has that. Biscuits usually are leavened with baking powder so they rise in uh -huh. the oven during the cooking. Well, buck, yeah, fucking blend on those best. What? How much of you can you see? None of me? Because I'm clever. No, you can. Okay. No. No, you're None right here. My bottom half. No, yeah, they can't see your shorts. No. Your, your bananas? Well, my feet are out. No, they can't see your feet. Thank you for caring, though. Um, yeah, I think Bloodhound's actually right. You don't really need to rise them because the baking powder does that shit for you. So it's, is a biscuit a quick bread? Like a soda bread is a quick bread. I think that means it's a quick bread. Huh, interesting. Also, you have um, chicken karage and fried chicken left over. If you get munchy later. Really? Yeah, I know you're already making boom bong. And it, or there's also tomorrow too, but you you still have fried chicken leftover. We we've eaten a lot of takeout this weekend, which has been great for me because the kitchen's been really clean and I've been really relaxed. Um, just lift the glass a bunch. Yeah, exactly. Such a wonderful grin. My parents used to give me drinks anytime I asked for them. Lol. So my when I was really little. I think that happened to me as well, but it actually worked exactly as a parent would want it to work. I took a sip of alcohol in like the sixth grade. I think I had a sip of a really, really strong beer of some sort that came in like a pint thing. And I remember being like, this is the grossest shit ever. I was like so turned off by beer. I couldn't imagine why anyone liked it. It took me like my late twenties to appreciate beer. Yeah. Anytime I had to sit, sip of alcohol when I was a kid, I was like, this shit's gross. Dad gave me beer from a 14th. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, for Emily's dad, that doesn't shock me at all. Yeah. Because uh, to this day, the best uh, IPA I think I've ever had in my life was by uh, Cookie's dad. He made uh, a mango IPA from scratch in his garage. And to this day, best fucking IPA I've ever had. Every time he has it on tap, like he, he brews his own beer. Anytime he has it on tap, I'm always asking him like if I can have some. I honestly think if he ever wants to go pro and open a brewery, I would, I would fucking back that business. No problem. Yeah. Um, how important is a pastry blender, uh, blender to biscuit me? How important is a pastry blender? Geek, well, I don't even know what a pastry pastry blender is so it's not important at all all you need to make biscuits if i'm not mistaken is uh like some sort of circle cutter so there are biscuit cutters some people use a glass like a, a glass or i don't i think a mason jar is too wide of a room but you just need a circular thing to cut the shit out and i think that's it yeah maybe a bench scraper might be helpful but no you don't why don't you and the ingredients, sure. So, like, apparently baking powder would be pretty important. Excuse me. I don't know if I'd say better uh, in it in the safety of home where it's dangerous. Uh, most states let children drink at home under parental supervision. I don't know if it's better to say better uh, in the safety of the home than somewhere dangerous. Yeah. Uh, in general, I like the idea that should the kids ever want to drink or whatever like that, I'd much rather than they do it at home. Uh, and... All, yeah, I'd much rather. I know that both kids have already had sips before because it was hilarious when we did our New Year's stream. I poured the kids uh, sparkling cider and then I poured us champagne and I told Carter to go to the kitchen and he could get his sparkling cider. I poured theirs in plastic cups and I poured ours in the fancy fucking china. Well, Carter went and grabbed the china and, he, and then I was like, 